Good morning guys! So today we will talk about the new stock analysis that I found and that it's super interesting. I'm considering investing. I will show you why. Um, it's a Chinese stock which will be very very interesting because it's super value for the investment. It seems to be super cheap. Let's figure it out together here on the Wolf of Dubai, your business channel. Do two more things before we dive into it. Please subscribe and ring the bell. Okay, so I found this Kudian company by researching through different companies with a good value and not so high valuation. And uh, you know, when I'm looking into this kind of uh, companies, then basically look for, for a couple of things, which I will show you. So basically Kudian is a Chinese company that is smart micro lender. That means that for example, it lends a small amount of money for let's say middle class of China, which is, you know, very booming these days. And they are basically lending money. Let's say you want to buy something at Alibaba and you don't have the right amount for your new TV. So you basically have the option to finance this, let's say thousand dollars over eight months. And they are doing all the financing for you. And so basically you pay a small interest and this is, let's say their core business. Let's have a look in their latest quarter result. I just found this company in the beginning of 2019. So I just had this on my watch list before the first quarter. And I was thinking that the quarter will be will be again good and uh, I will invest in it. And since then, I think the stock rose nearly 40 or 50 percent. So, you know, this was another good confirmation that I was I was right to say that this is an interesting investment. Still, I think that the stock is uh, quite uh, cheap. If you look into following numbers so for example the loan balance increased by 91 percent if you go down the total numbers of registered users increase of 12 percent a culminate number of borrowers increased 14 percent 14.6 percent then if you go to the highlights the revenue increased 22 percent so you know so all the main numbers for the company at least went up uh, 10 to 20 percent which is you know a very very good growth company which uh, you know in the tech business in China so usually this should be more valued like maybe five times sale and PA ratio of uh, 20 or 18 you know something in this direction but uh, I will show you how they are actually rated right now so have a look here basically they having a market cap of today of uh, 2.48 billion dollars you know the market cap since the stock went up it was around 11 billions because the stock price was already uh, 35 dollars but then they you know it was like a very big hype on the stock and they lost also one uh, big uh, client i think it was in alibaba that they didn't have the direct access to the platform which didn't matter let's say you don't saw like a huge revenue loss so it's very funny to see that the stock lost so much potential then you know uh, here in 2019 again picking up uh, the market cap and uh, let's have a look on the revenues so the revenues basically you will see here that uh, 2018 the company made 1.1 billion dollars revenue and if you compare it to 2.4 billion 2.5 billion market market cap you have like a PS so price to sales ratio so basically 2.5 which is still quite good then let's have a look on uh, some price ratios so uh, the PE ratio is just five which I think it's ridiculous you know I think this type of sector should be at least 10 12 18 maybe 20 20 ish even with this growth you know then you basically have the PS ratio which I said which is uh, just at 2.15 today and and the stock price is quite uh, going up just since 2000 the beginnings of 2019 so basically you see here uh, on the 7th of Jan, we was at uh, $5.13. Now we are around uh, the $8 mark. So $3 on top of that almost, uh, you know, which is a very, very good gain. Has, of course, a lot 
to do with the revenues that you know uh, going up let's have a look on the margins which are quite interesting as well so basically gross margin you will see the gross profit was uh, 0.83 billion you know which is which is really really good on a revenue of 1.16 billion you know the revenue of uh, 1.12 billion gross profit was uh, 0.75 billion so also a very very profitable business with the gross margins around the 60s and 70s you know which is like really really amazing and uh, also what I wanted to show you the EBITDA so basically the profit per year it's a profitable company they are making around almost 400 million US dollar profit on 1.1 billion revenue this is really really good and uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is basically they had this uh, new business uh, area or business unit called Dubai where they basically made car finances but after a couple of months they recognized that it was not their main business so they refocus on their main business and this is what I really like about companies if they see something is not working that they react fast before they losing too much money uh, you know uh, so they uh, here's the article up, uh, from Seeking Alpha where they refocus on micro lending their core business you know that Alipay losing Alipay pay was not final losing was it was not fatal and they winding down the loss making auto business which improves profitability in last but not least is also the cash flow so uh, as of end of March 2019 the company had cash and cash equivalents of around uh, 287 million if we remember they making 1.1 billion revenue so uh, having a almost 30 percent 25 percent cash on hand it's really really strong so the overall picture you know the balance sheet their business they're growing everything looks super good so this was it about the analysis that was it let me know what you think about kudian and about how you like this video in the comments and don't forget the grass is greener on the other side